How's it going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about the cancellation of Young Justice and the Green Lantern CG animated uh, cartoon shows in DC Nation. Uh, so don't worry guys, a lot of people have been asking me, where's the videos, where's the videos? Uh, there's going to be lots coming this weekend. Uh, I've just been very busy this week. So. Yep, so as far as we know, they're going to be replacing Young Justice and the Green Lantern CG series with a Batman CG series called Beware the Batman and uh, Teen Titans Go. Uh, Teen Titans Go, I'm sort of in the same thought process as it is when it comes to Young Justice, which I've sort of talked about a little bit before in my other videos, which is I wish they would just do a Justice League cartoon series and be done with the Teen Titans or Young Justice League type shows. I don't know if they feel like maybe Teen Titans or Young Justice relates to uh, the youngins better because, you know, they're younger characters as well. But me personally, I feel like it's just an, like an appetizer versus having a good meal. You know, you're getting a little bit of it. But, you know, you've got Robin instead of Batman. You've got, you know, like uh, Superboy instead of Superman. You know, and it's just, it, and it's like that with all the characters. It's like, I just want to see a really good Justice League cartoon. I mean, Teen Titans is great. You know, I don't have any problem with that. And it'll probably be pretty good. Uh, the last Teen Titans cartoon was okay. Young Justice was pretty good. I don't have a problem with it. But Justice League was awesome, man. I would love to see another Justice League cartoon. Um... So that's how I feel about Young Justice. Even though I think Young Justice was really well done. The art on it was amazing. The graphics and everything. I would love to see them do a full-fledged Justice League cartoon with that new uh, animation style. I think it would just work out really well and be very, very cool. Uh, and they don't have to use the same team as they used last time. They could put in some different members. But you have to have uh, Batman, Superman... Uh, Green Lantern, one of them, doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be Hal Jordan, could be whoever. Um, and let's see, Wonder Woman, of course, has to be in there. But you, you guys get what I'm saying. The rest, you can kind of swap in and out as you want. And I think that would make a much better cartoon show than the Teen Titans show or, you know, Young Justice. Uh, so I think that's what they should do, even though they still seem, for some reason, to want to keep doing, you know, Young or Teen Whatever. So that's my thoughts on that. It's not that they're bad, but I just won't get into them that much. I, I watched, when it came to Young Justice, I watched the first few episodes, was really impressed, thought it was great, and then I just just kind of dropped it because of that reason, because I feel like they should just do a Justice League show. It makes sense, you know? Um, so there's that. Now, the other one, Beware the Batman, going to be replacing um, the Green Lantern show. Okay, so the Green Lantern animated series... Um, I watched at least a few episodes of that. I think it was about three or four. And to be totally honest with you, I feel the comic book is superior to it. Um, when it comes to CG cartoons, I don't quite know how I feel about them, even at this point. Sometimes it's okay, but it depends. Like, I think with Star Wars, it works pretty well because the movies have a lot of CG in them as well. But when it comes to Green Lantern, I think that show would have been way better had they have stuck closer to the comic book series kept it a little bit more mature in terms of the themes and things of that nature and done it with that classic animation style. Uh, CG itself for me when you get into that I mean I, I guess it kind of makes sense you're gonna do a Star Wars and CG Green Lantern is like the comic book Star Wars for DC you could look at it that way um, but something about the show just I don't know it, it felt too too clunky for me. It didn't feel smooth enough. You know, it, it. I would have liked to have seen it done in classic animation style. And then if they would have done that, I probably would have picked it up and watched it more. This way, I just watched a few episodes and was basically done with it. Uh, however, Green Lantern is not Batman. Batman, for me, is a lot more interesting and uh, something I'll definitely probably pick up. Now, the last Batman series, um, The Batman, I was not a big fan of, mainly because of the uh, animation style. Uh, the character designs I didn't like. I didn't like the way Joker had dreadlocks. I didn't like, you know, just a lot of things about the animation style for me I thought was really strange. Uh, I like the animated series Batman way more than that one. And um, Batman the Brave and the Bold, that was a hilarious and awesome cartoon. I watched almost every episode of that one. I love that one. So, Beware the Batman, um... Uh, I don't know. You know. I don't know how I feel about it. I haven't seen a trailer for it yet. I've seen the stills. If you Google it, you'll see a few uh, few still pictures of it. 
But uh, it may have the same kind of feel as the Green Lantern animated series. The, um, you know, just the CG and I, I don't know. Call me old fashioned, but I'm just a fan of classic animation style versus CG. So I'll still check out Beware the Batman. I'm still going to watch at least the premiere, the pilot. I'll probably do a review of it. But whether or not I continue on and watch every episode depends on how it looks and everything like that. Uh, I think for a Batman cartoon especially, you should probably go with classic animation. I don't think CG really makes sense for Batman. Mm, I don't think so. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the whole CG uh, cartoons like the new Teenage Ninja Turtles, how it's all CG. Now that cartoon's really good, but I just... You know, the Japanese have never changed when it comes to animation. They've just get gotten better and better and better and better at drawing and incorporating the CG elements, but for the most part, it's still classic animation. And their stuff looks crazy. It looks amazing. You know, I'd love to see um, American cartoons sort of take more from that, like the Young Justice cartoon series, and get away from the CG thing, because I think the CG thing... It, it, it doesn't show emotion the same way. It doesn't look as cool to me, and um, I don't know. So we'll see how Beware the Batman turns out this uh, this fall. Um, but I'm not expecting too much from it as, uh, you know, like I've said, I'm a big fan of the old-style uh, cartoon animation. Anyway, that's really all i got to say about the cancellation and the new two shows, Teen Titans Go and uh, Beware the Batman. Teen Titans Go, I'll try it, but probably drop it after the pilot. And Beware the Batman, I'll try it, and hopefully we'll stick on with it, because Batman's my favorite character from anything. Um, however, because it's CG, I don't have uh, too high hopes. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Got lots coming this weekend. So, Trev, same piece.